We're having a big thunder and rainstorm that I'll show you in a second. And I have time between two business events. So I'm gonna make a quick recipe of tzatziki. Nom, nom, nom. Mom, let's go in the kitchen. So if y'all know me at all, you know I'm not a big cook. The last cookbook I got was many, many years ago until this one. <laughs> Somebody that I followed on YouTube made one of the recipes in here and it looks super easy. What's this called? Cook wants to eat all week. I got this right before the pandemic thinking, okay, I'm going to be super prepared. <laughs> I'm going to prepare my meals for the week. It's going to be awesome. And I did a few of them and then we moved and I had surgery and the pandemic. And so I haven't really done much, but one of the recipes I really love is this um, tzatziki sauce for these gyros. I could not believe how easy it was. So I'm just going to make that right now and catch you up a little bit. Um, so this just needs cucumber, plain Greek yogurt, not vanilla, and garlic, and some salt. I can't believe it's that easy. Like, it's shocking. It's shocking. <laughs> Let me grab a little knife. Um, oh, I don't have a little knife. Let's see here. I need a way... So I never peel cucumbers, but for this, you have to kind of like squish all the stuff out of it, and it's just really better if you do peel it. Let me grab one. I gotta, I gotta wash it real quick over here at the sink. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Um, so. So we got quite the summer storm going on out there. And today, I, for my business, I'm in the middle of what's the virtual NOCO Pet Summit. It's a virtual pet summit. And um, we never heard of this before. So a friend of mine and I started the NOCO Pet Pack, which is a group of pet businesses here in Northern Colorado. We've always wanted to have a, an in-person gathering for, the, for us in the community, but you know, COVID. <laughs> uh, so we did a virtual one. So we had our first segment this morning. We'll have one at six tonight. And then we'll have two tomorrow. Mine's Friday, whatever, June 25 or 26, 2020 here. And so I'll be talking about photography, of course. This says like a third of a cup of cucumber. I'm just gonna make a bunch of cucumber. I, I thought I had two, but I actually, I think I used the other one the other day. So yeah, we're kind of in between uh, our segments on there. And I thought, oh, I need a little bit of a break from work. And I like making these videos for y'all. Uh, I do need to let you know that since our last garden tour, my poor garden, I have one plant that's not going to make it. So we're going to do another garden tour in a few days, um, but other stuff is thriving. So there you go. This is the first garden I've had in Colorado. It's very different than Washington, more than I thought it would be. And I'm really rusty and out of, out of practice on the garden. Right? So I've been here eight years and I have not had a veggie garden this whole time. All right, we're going to move all that. That's going to go into either my mouth um, and also the compost. We'll get that can out. Compost jar. So, yeah, so kind of sad news about, about the garden, which I'm bummed about. Great. Grr. Okay. Uh, here's the other interesting thing with this recipe is so you grate this, but then you have to get a bunch of the, the water out of it. It says um, peel and shred, then roll it up in a dish towel and squeeze all the moisture out. All right, so that's what we're going to do next. Um, what else? Oh, okay. So cooking wise, one of the big crazes during COVID has been banana bread. And Steve has made banana bread since I've met him. He has his recipe that he likes, that everybody likes. 
So I thought, well, we're going to be super cliche. And sometime in the next few days, we have very ripe bananas that I've set aside. We're going to do Steve's banana bread recipe. Oh, yeah. Uh, so be watching for that if you're still on the banana bread craze. Um, or if you're just old school and you've always made banana bread. Oh, my gosh. That reminds me of the zucchini bread. Do y'all remember making zucchini bread? Oh, my gosh. I, w I should have grown zucchinis just for zucchini bread and muffins. Oh, yeah. Okay, that one I'm gonna have to chop up. I used to make that a lot, and I think maybe mom started it in zucchini patties. Oh my gosh, I haven't had zucchini patties in forever. Steve's not a huge zucchini fan, but I think he would like zucchini bread. Yeah? So that's fun. Okay, we're almost done with this. Remember, not a cooking show. <laughs> if you wanna know how to make this recipe, just get this book. I forgot already what it's called. Uh, Cook Once, Eat All Week, Cassie Joy Garcia. So there's a bunch of stuff on YouTube about this, this cookbook. It's not really that old. So there's lots of, lots of information. It's kind of made, I think it's like gluten-free and stuff. So, which to me just means really easy, <laughs> super simple ideas. And the idea behind her book is that you, you have this whole grocery list of pretty basic stuff and you get all that at the grocery store. You spend just a little bit of time prepping the ingredients, not cooking everything, um, I don't, yeah, and then, um, then you put all those ingredients ready to go, like chopped up and stuff in the fridge and yeah, then you can, then you put it all together. Some things I think like with this one, there was some brisket, so that was cooked ahead of time. So what happens is you have these three ingredients and they feed you all week, like three times. And so this recipe, it took the brisket from the last recipe and, um, put it in that, you know, salad. Okay. It's all in here. That was fast, right? Ooh, you can already see how wet it is. Okay, so we're gonna squeeze. I'm going to the sink. Actually, I don't have to put anything in here yet. This is gonna be the bowl, but there's nothing in it. So let's let's squeeze out all the. Oh my gosh, this is a juicy one. Oh, here's everyone's favorite word: moist. <laughs> Steve's upstairs right now. He doesn't know I'm recording this, or he might by now. This was meant to be a short video. We still got a little bit of rain, but these these storms come through and leave really quickly. So we could have a really nice evening and I can go out and kayak. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know there's better ways to do this. People have cheesecloths and things like that. But I think I'm getting a fair amount of juice out of this. Look at that. Can you believe that? You probably can't see it. Yep. Well, trust me, there's a lot in there. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> what does squished up, grated stuff look like? All right, pretty good. I'm not super picky about this. Remember, not a cooking channel. This is a catch up with Monique channel. All right, so then we have um, three quarters of a cup of yogurt. We're just gonna... Huh. We're gonna eyeball it. This is a one cup measure, but who cares? Steve's been eating his oatmeal with the Greek yogurt. He likes that. He has oatmeal every morning. I just can't do it. Okay. This is how super exact I am. We have our plain, not vanilla. There's so much vanilla. Plain Greek yogurt. It's going in this dish, which <coughs> we've gotten all the stuff out of. Boop. And then, hi Bay. And then it has one clove of garlic. Do y'all remember when, um, was there Little Caesar's Pizza? I think he was the cute little clove of garlic. Was that the one? Remember that pizza commercial from forever ago? And there was a cute little clove of garlic that comes to the door to deliver the pizza. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Alright, do 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 garlic, garlic, garlic. Ugh. All right, where'd the thing go? I got stuff ready today, at least there's that. We're gonna stick a bunch of garlic in here. Ready for squishing. My head's cut off because I'm super lazy and I put my phone on a stand on the dining room chair. Okay, one clove garlic. And then we put all of this deliciousness in there. Boop. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so this was supposed to be a third of a cup of cucumber and it looks like it. it might be close to a half. I don't know, I'm not that picky. 
and seriously, that's it. Cucumber, non fat plain yogurt. Oh, and it's made of salt. They want you to do fine sea salt, but I don't have that. I'm not that fancy. And there you go. And then I'll transfer it to a glass dish with a lid. Um, but let's try it. I've got some naan. Some people just use pita pockets. They're too dry. They have that big pocket in the middle, right? So get naan, get the good stuff. I don't know how to make this, but you know, the little flatbread stuff, it's so good. This is good with hummus too, right? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Tzatziki, you're welcome. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So that's what I'm up to. I'm doing the virtual pet summit. I'm trying to figure out my garden. She's gonna make banana bread. Babe's watching me, hoping to get some naan. <laughs> and we're in the middle of a thunderstorm. Pretty much life in uh, life in Colorado. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, here. Bailey thinks she's getting this. I'll give you a close up. Ready? <laughs> Okay, none for you, honey. Okay, you can have a small piece of naan. How about that? Would you like a little piece of, of naan? Okay, bye lay. Bye lay. Yes, good girl. All right, there you go. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs>